to my channel, my name is Bruna and in today's video I have a tutorial for you guys on this crochet cushion cover and I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. So let's get started! So for this project I decided to use two different yarns in different colors as well and I'm using this white one here and this blue one here, okay? So the white one is the Creations by Corn Bond and is the Baby Full Ply yarn, okay? I have a video on my channel already for hook sizes and yarn weight if you guys want to check that out. And it's 100 grams and it's 100% acrylic. And the color, the shade, is 180064. And then for the blue one, I'm using this yarn here, which is the Cotton Soft by King Co. And is a DK yarn. It's also 100 grams and the color is 781 Jade, okay? I'm also going to be using a pair of scissors. So as you guys can see, I'm using a 3mm hook. You can definitely use a 4mm hook if you want, because my stitches would be a little bit tighter than using a 4mm hook. Okay, so that's just up to you. You can also use a 2mm hook if you want. So this is what we're going to be crocheting today. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is the flower. So as you guys can see, it's a very, very beautiful pattern. It's basically a granny square with a flower in the middle. So this is how the back looks like. And as you guys can see, we're going to be working at the back of the flower and then working our way to the front, okay? It looks hard but it will be very easy, I promise you guys. So as you guys can see right in the middle here we have a small circle and then with four petals right in the middle, okay? They just fold like that to the middle which looks really nice. So I decided to do one granny square with the blue flower and then the outside in white and then one with the white flower and then the outside in blue. You can do however you want, you can do it colourful, you can do it in one colour, it's just up to you. So the flower granny square will be the front of my cushion and for the back I decided to create a really simple granny square. I'm going to show you guys how to do this in a minute as well. So I'm also going to be doing one in blue and one in white, okay? And I'm also going to be measuring my cushion so that you guys can see how big will be my cover, okay? The cover for my cushion. So this is the cushion and as you guys can see it's a little bit old but I love this cushion. So I'm just gonna be measuring quickly. So my cushion has 39 centimeters, okay? I think it's both the same size, yeah. So it's 39 by 39, okay? So if you guys want to know how to crochet this really nice and cute flower granny square, just keep on watching. So first you're going to be creating a slip knot. And now you're going to be chaining 5. So now you want to connect the end of the chain to the beginning of the chain with a slip stitch. So now you're going to be chaining two and now we're going to be creating half double crochets. If you guys don't know how to create a half double crochet, you're going to be wrapping the yarn around your hook, passing the hook through the middle of the circle, you're going to grab the yarn, bring forward and instead of doing the double crochet, you want to yarn over all the three stitches together. So in total I'm doing 16 half double crochets so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do all my 16 half double crochets and then I'll be back. So now I have all my 16 half double crochets completed as you guys can see and now you want to connect to the other side with a slip stitch. So this is the first row completed. So now we're going to be creating the first row with the petals. So to do that you're going to be chaining 4. And now you're going to be skipping 3 stitches and then on the 4th stitch you're going to create a single crochet. So again you're going to be chaining 4 
and then skipping three stitches on the fourth you're gonna create a single crochet so you're gonna do that until you have a total of four loops so now we're gonna be creating the petals on these loops so in the loops we're gonna be creating one single crochet five double crochets and one single crochet on the same stitch okay on that same loop and then you're going to do that for all the four loops So this is how the second row looks like with the petals. So now we're going to be working on the third row with the petals and we're going to be working on the back of the flower. So we need to create a single crochet right on this stitch here which is in between the two petals and connecting to the circle. So first you want to turn your flower on the back and then you want to pass the hook through this stitch here and then you want to grab the yarn and bring it to the back and then you want to create a single crochet. So this is an easier method to move the yarn to the back of the flower. So now to create the second row with the petals, you would need to create the loops at the back of the flower. So you're going to be chaining four. So now to attach the chain to your project, we're going to be doing that on two ways. So the first one we're going to be connecting some of the chains into the circle and some of them in between the petals okay so after creating the chain you want to move the first petal forward and then on that half circle you're going to see three stitches so you want to create the single crochet on the second stitch which is the one in the middle And then you want to chain four again and then you want to create a single crochet on the stitch which is in between the two petals and connect it to the circle and then you just want to keep repeating the same process create the chain and then attach with a single crochet to the circle and then you chain again and then attach with a single crochet in between the two petals which is connected to the circle so in total I'm gonna do eight loops so I'm here on my last loop so you want to create the four chains and then you want to again connect to the next stitch okay in between the two petals and connected to the circle okay so you're just repeating the same steps as before So as you guys can see, this is how the loops looks like. And now for the second row with the petals, we're going to be working on these loops. And for the petals on the second row, we're going to be using the same method we've used on the previous row. So on the first loop, you want to create a single crochet five double crochets and one single crochet on the same loop So now for the next loop you want to create the same one single crochet five double crochets and one single crochet on the same loop so now i'm just going to continue doing the same on all of the loops that i have to do and then i'll come back
So just to show you guys, I'm here on my last loop and I'm gonna do the same, one single crochet, five double crochets and one single crochet. So as you guys can see, I have finished the second row with the petals. And by doing the second row, you can see that the center petals are already folding to the middle. So that's normal. And with the third row with the petals, they're going to be folding a little bit more. So for the third row with the petals, you want to move again the yarn to the back of the flower. And we're just going to be doing the same as the previous row. So you want to create a single crochet right on this stitch here. So again, you just pass the hook through that stitch and then you grab the yarn, you move to the back and then you create a single crochet. So for the third row with the petals, we're going to be increasing the petals a little bit more. So we need to increase both the loops and also the numbers of double crochets we're going to be doing on each loop. So we're going to be chaining 5. And right on this stitch here, which is in between the petal and your project, you're going to be creating a single crochet. So now you're just going to repeat the same steps, you're going to create a chain of 5 and then connecting to that stitch with a single crochet. So now you just keep repeating the same process until you have 8 loops. So now for the petals for this row, we're going to be doing them a little bit bigger than the previous rows. So we're going to be doing one single crochet, eight double crochets and one single crochet on the same loop. So now again, for the next loop, you're just going to repeat the same steps. So it will be one single crochet, eight double crochets and one single crochet on the same loop. And you're going to be repeating the same process for all of the loops in the row. So as you guys can see, I'm here on my last loop for the third row with the petals. So I'm just going to do the same, one single crochet, eight double crochets and one single crochet. So now I have finished the flower. The only thing we're going to do now is we're going to be doing another row on the back of the flower with the loops so that we can create the square on the back of the flower. So first you're going to be moving the yarn to the back of the flower. And now you're going to be creating loops the same as the previous row. And then you're going to be chaining five and creating a single crochet in between the petals. So we're also going to be doing eight loops for this row. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. So as you guys can see, I have all my loops completed. 
So if you are doing your granny square in two different colors, you need to fasten off right now at this point. And if you are doing your granny square in only one color, you just skip this step, okay? So now I'm gonna be doing the square on the back of the flower and I'm gonna be using my blue yarn. So now we need to attach the yarn on one of the loops. So I have an easier way to attach the yarn to your project. So first you will create a slip knot. So you need to attach your yarn in a way that you'll be able to work on the back of the flower. So make sure you attach the yarn properly. So you need to choose one of the loops on the back of the flower. So I'm going to be attaching on this one. So you want to put the hook at the back of the project closer to the place you want to attach the yarn. And then just simple as you can, just create a single crochet. It's a very simple and easy way to attach the yarn. It's so easy guys. If you guys try that, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and just let me know how easy it was or like your experience on attaching the yarn on a new way <laughs> okay so let me know in the comments below so to begin the square you want to chain three and on the same loop you want to create three double crochets Remember that the chain that we've created at the beginning also counts as a double crochet. So now you're going to be chaining one and then creating four more double crochets on the same loop. So here we have the first corner for the square. So now to continue, you're going to be chaining one and on the next loop, you're going to be creating four double crochets. So now we're going to be working on the third loop and we're going to be doing the same as we did for the first loop. Okay, so we're going to be doing four double crochets, chain one and four double crochets on the same loop. So just to show you guys quickly that this is one of the corner for the square and then this one here is the other one. So now we're going to be working on the next loops and we're just going to be doing the same steps. So you're just going to be chaining one and then on the next loop you're going to be doing four double crochets. And then you're going to be chaining one and then on the next, which is the third corner for the square, you're going to be doing four double crochets, chain one and four double crochets. So just to show you guys that you can already see the square. So now you're just going to continue doing the same steps as the previous loops. And then when I have this row nearly completed, I'll come back and then I'll show you guys what to do next. So for the last loop, you're going to be chaining one and on that loop, you're going to be creating four double crochets. So now to finish the row, you're going to be chaining one and then connecting to the other side with a slip stitch. So this is our first row completed for the square. So now we're going to be doing the second row. So now we need to move the yarn to the very corner of the square. So you're just going to do that with slip stitches. And then from this point, we're going to be doing the second row. So once you have the yarn right in the corner of the square, 
you want to begin the first row so you're going to be chaining three so after creating the chain you're going to be creating three double crochets chain one and four more double crochets on that same stitch So from now on we're just going to be repeating the same steps as we did for the previous row. So to continue the row you're going to be chaining one. So we're going to be skipping the four double crochets on the previous row and we're going to be working on this space here that we have in between the double crochets. Okay? So on that square we're going to be creating the four double crochets that we have to do. And then you're just going to repeat again. So you're going to be chaining one, skipping the four double crochets, and then on the square, you're going to be creating the four double crochets. So now you're going to be chaining one and you're going to be working on the next corner for the square. Okay, so right in between these eight double crochets, we have a space. So we're going to be using that, which is the corner of the square. So right on that stitch, you're going to be doing four double crochets, chain one and four double crochets. So now you can just keep repeating the same steps for the entire row. So I'm here on my last square, so I'm going to be chaining one and then creating four double crochets, chaining one again and then connecting to the other side with a slip stitch. So now you guys can choose how many rows you want to do for your granny square. So I am going to be doing only three rows. So the next one will be my last row. And from now on, you're just going to be repeating the same steps as the previous row. Okay. You're going to be creating the show stitch on the corner of the square. And then for the rest is just chaining one and creating the double crochets at the top of the squares, okay? So I'm not gonna be showing you guys the third row because it's just the same as the second row. So if you guys need, you can just rewind the video and just check again how I've done the second row and then you guys can just repeat for the third and for the other rows that you have to do. So when I have my third row completed, I'll come back and then I'll show you guys what to do next. So I'm here just at the end of my row and I'm just going to be chaining one and connecting to the other side with a slip stitch. So once you have the amount of rows that you need, you can just fasten off. So I'm only going to do three rows. So now I can just fasten off and continue with the project. So now the granny square with the flower is completed and this is how it looks like. So now we're going to be doing the small granny squares for the back of the cushion. So first you're going to be creating a slip knot. And then you're going to be chaining six.
and then when you get to the corner of the square you want to chain three and then on the same stitch we're going to be doing two double crochets a chain of three and three more double crochets So to continue the row we're going to be chaining one and then we're going to be skipping the three double crochets and we're going to be moving to the next corner, okay? So you're just going to be doing the same as on the other corner. So you're going to be doing three double crochets, a chain of three and three more double crochets. And then you just keep repeating the same steps until you get to the end of the row. So here I have my row completed, so now I'm going to be doing my third and last row. So what you guys want to do, you guys want to go upwards with slip stitches until you get to the corner of the square. And then you're going to be doing the show stitch the same as the previous row. So you're going to be chaining three, creating two double crochets, chaining three and creating three more double crochets. So now to continue the row we're going to be chaining one and then we're going to be skipping the double crochets and then at the top of the square we're going to be creating three double crochets. And then you're going to be chaining one again. So now we're going to be working in the middle of the show stitch right in this little loop that we have here in between the six double crochets. So on that stitch you want to create the same as the other corner. So you want to create three double crochets, chain three and three more double crochets on that same stitch. So now we're going to be doing the same steps as we did previously. So you're just going to be repeating the same steps for the entire row. So to finish the row you're going to be chaining one and then linking to the other side with a slip stitch. So this is the moment where you need to choose how many rows you want to do for your granny squares. Okay, so I decided to do three rows so you guys can do more than that or you guys can do maybe only two rows. It's just up to you. So once you're happy with the size of your granny square, you can just go ahead and fasten off. So now you guys can just go ahead and do as many granny squares as you need. So when I have all of my granny squares completed, I'll come back and then I'll show you guys what to do next. So as you guys can see, I have finished all my granny squares. So in total here, I have 32 granny squares. So I have five for the white flower. Four for the blue flower, I have 15 for this ones, for the small white granny squares and I have 8 for the blue granny squares. So the amount of granny squares that you need will depend on the size of your cushion so you guys can just measure and also maybe when you're doing the granny squares you can just place them at the top of the cushion and see if it fits, okay? So now I'm going to show you guys how you sew them together. For this part I'm going to be using a pair of scissors you can use either your hook or a knitting needle. This one is a very thick needle for crochet and for knitting, okay? So that it doesn't really ruin your stitches when you sew them together. You can also use a normal needle if you don't have this one, okay? And last you need a little bit of the yarn that you did your granny squares with, okay? Uh, because I'm using two colors here, the white one and the blue one, um, I can definitely choose any of the colors, so I can just do with the white one or the blue one, okay? If you're doing a cushion with one color only, for example the white one, you'll definitely need to use just the white one, okay? But because I'm doing in two colors, I can just choose which color I wanted to sew them together. So first I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to be sewing them together, okay? So this is how I'm going to be sewing them together. 
and this will be the front of my cushion and as you guys know already and the small ones will be the back so I decided to use the white yarn but you can definitely choose any so you want to get a little bit of the yarn and then you just want to cut it like that I'm gonna do with the needle okay and then the next one I'm going to show you guys with the hook and then you pass the yarn through the little hole in here in the needle you don't need to make a notch or anything okay so when you sew in your project together you want to make sure that you do all the sewing on the reverse side of your project okay so you want to put the right side of this granny square and the right side on this other granny square together like that and then you're gonna be sewing right here okay on this side so basically this is very easy so you just want to get one stitch from one side and then one stitch from the other side and just sew the two together simple guys and then right here you can just make a knot Now you just want to continue sewing so you get one stitch from one side one stitch from the other side and just sew the two together so you guys can just continue doing the same until you get to the end here okay Okay, so I'm here on my last stitch now. Just gonna get one stitch from one side and then one from the other side and just sew the two together, okay? So right here you can just fasten off, just like that. You create a loop and then you just pass the needle through the loop, okay? And pull tight. You can repeat that again. There we go and now you can just cut the remaining yarn here okay so this is how the sewing looks like as you guys can see it's very neat so just make sure you get the same stitch from this side and then the same on the other side so that you can match the stitches okay the little shell stitches here okay so if you do that it will be perfect so now you can just get another granny square and then place it on the top of the other one facing the right side to each other like that and then we're gonna be sewing right here same as the other side okay so now I'm just gonna show you guys how you can do the sewing with the hook okay it's basically the same thing so I'm just gonna get my yarn here this much and then you want to put the two together and then you want to find the first stitch from this side and then the first stitch on the other side and then you just pull your hook through that stitch and then pull the hook through the other stitch as well so you grabbed the two stitches and then you're just going to be passing the yarn through those stitches here and then right here you're going to make a knot so now you just want to continue doing the same so get one stitch from one side and then another stitch from the other side and then you're gonna grab the yarn with the hook and just pass the yarn through those stitches just like that and then pull tight okay move the yarn to the back grab one stitch from this side and then another from the other side grab the yarn all tight okay so just keep repeating that until you have all this here sewn okay so I'm just here on my last two stitches I'm just gonna get my last one right here and on the other side sew them together so now you can just fasten off so you just go back into those two stitches grab the yarn create a loop pass the yarn through the loop and pull tight okay so as you guys can see this is the one with the hook and this is the one with the needle okay they both the same you can just choose 
however method you want. I prefer with the needle because it's easier to sew them together rather than with the hook because the hook it takes a little bit longer. It can be a little bit better, like it looks better with the hook but then it's a little bit harder to do and it takes a long time but you can just choose however method you want, okay? So now I'm just going to be continue sewing the granny squares together just like that. So I'm going to be sewing now a white one, a blue one and a white one and then later I'm going to be sewing a blue one, a white one and another blue one. So now I'm just going to be continue sewing all my granny squares right in the middle here and then I'll come back to show you guys what to do next. So as you guys can see I just finished sewing all the middle here on my granny squares and the only thing I have to do now is sew them together right here, okay? Same for the top here, okay? So you guys will be using the same method for this part here, okay, on the sewing. So you're gonna be putting the two together facing on the right side, like that. And then you guys will be sewing right here, and then same for the one on the top. Put the two together and then you're gonna be sewing right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. Look who is here, guys. <laughs> Look, come say hi. Come. So I just finished sewing all my granny squares together, as you guys can see. I'm loving it so much, you guys don't understand. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the back of the cushion with this ones. Oh my god, with this ones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a white one right in the middle, like that, and then the blue ones going around the white one. And then the white ones going around the blue ones. I'm not gonna show you guys how you're gonna be sewing them because it's the same process as the other one, so I don't really need to show you guys how I'm gonna sew this together. Tutu, where is it? So I just noticed guys that it's missing two of my granny squares right here. I didn't know that. I thought I had all of them completed. But for some reason I can't find them in my room. So I need to do two granny squares here. So I'm already doing it. So instead of doing 15 I need to do 17. Okay. So it's still 8 for the blue ones and then 17 for the white ones, okay? It's not 15, 17. So let's say that there is two granny squares here, okay? Don't look over there, guys, don't look. But um, I'm just going to explain to you guys what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do the same method as I did for the flower granny square. So I'm going to be sewing first them together like that, right here in the middle. And then when I have all of them completed, all the rows completed, I'm gonna be starting to sew them together right in the middle here, okay? So it will be the same process as the other one, so don't worry guys, I'm not doing anything different. And when I have all of this sewn together, I'm gonna come back and then I'll show you guys how you're gonna be sewing the sides together in order to create the cushion cover, okay? So as you guys can see, I just finished sewing all my granny squares, okay, for the back of my cushion and I got both sides completed, the front and the back. So this is the reverse side for the back of the cushion and this is the right side and here's the right side as well. So you want to face the two like that on the right side. So here's the right side and here's the right side. Okay, facing each other. So now I'm gonna be sewing the right side of the cover, the bottom and the left side. Okay, so I'm gonna be sewing the three sides and then I'll come back to show you guys what to do next. So as you guys can see, I just finished sewing all the sides here of my cushion. This one and this one, okay? And I left here open so that we can put the cushion inside. So what you guys wanna do now is just turn your cover inside out, like that. If you guys want to clean your cushion cover a little bit, you can just go ahead and cut all these yarns 
that we have on the reverse side but I'm not gonna do that because it will be inside of the cover okay so I don't mind I'm just gonna be cutting this ones here so that it doesn't really show so we basically have our cushion cover completed we just need to put the cushion inside so I'm gonna do that I have my cushion here so let's try this cushion cover let's do it oh my god guys it's so nice <laughs> Here we go. So now the only thing we have to do is close at the top here. There is two ways you can do that. So the first one you're just gonna be sewing right at the top here with your needle or your hook. But you're only gonna do that if you wanna keep the cover permanently with the cushion, okay? So the second way you can close the cover here is by getting a little bit of the yarn. So you're just gonna be passing the yarn through the little loops that we have right here. So you guys can see these little loops here just make sure you have enough yarn in order to go all the way across the top okay so you're basically gonna be lacing up the top here so if you're doing this way you'll be able to remove it to clean the cover and also maybe if you want to change the cover for your cushion as well so this is a really nice way to do it so now what you guys can do just pull tight so that you know that it's nice and closed and then right here you can just make a lace okay and then you can just cut the remaining yarn as well so with the lace right here you can just leave it like that or you can just tuck it inside and no one will be able to see no one <laughs> here we go so now you guys can see how it looks like it's really nice guys i love it so much this is the finished cushion cover guys here we go this is the front see i lost where is the opening oh right here and here's the back it's really nice guys i love it so much i hope you guys enjoy it as well <laughs> So this is everything for today's video guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed making with me this cushion cover and if you guys did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon guys, bye!